After a stellar 2018 release year, 2019 seems to be shaping up to be just as epic in gaming as well. While some highly anticipated titles aren't 100% confirmed to be coming out this year, the Fat Ninja team have compiled a list of our top 12 most wanted games. Possible spoilers ahead, this is your host, Raging Antibody, so let's get the countdown going. Number 12, Crash Team Racing. Personally, I never got a chance to play this game myself in its heyday, but I hear that if you're looking for an all-out crazy Mario Kart-esque racer on the PlayStation, this is your best bet. Fully remastered, just like the new Insane Trilogy, it looks and sounds great so far. With touch-ups to the controls and an updated physics engine, I am looking forward to giving this a whack when it hits shelves in June. Number 11, Dragon Ball Project Z. There have been a ton of Dragon Ball inspired RPGs over the course of the years, so what makes this one different? Well, it's the people behind the late great Dragon Ball Fighter Z hard at work to bringing the entire Dragon Ball Z series to your fingertips. The graphics look just as phenomenal as they did in the fighting game, and the gameplay looks reminiscent of the Naruto Ultimate Ninja Storm series. It looks as though as if it will also boast a much larger roster of characters to choose from, so the hype is real. The release date is still to be announced, but we will be keeping an eager eye out for it. Number 10, Pokemon Sword and Shield. This entry is courtesy of Steve and Andrew, major Pokemon fans. I'll be honest, I've only ever played the one, I believe it was black and white, and it's not a slight against Pokemon at all. I'm just not much of a handheld gamer. However, from what I've seen so far, the introduction of many new types of Pokemon to capture as well as the new setting looking very much like England, I'm very curious about this entry in the long running series myself. Be sure to claim your copy when it releases later this year. Number 9, Doom Eternal. If you missed out on 2016's Doom revamp, well then you should, do you should definitely go pick it up. It's only 10 bucks on Steam and or in most stores. Doom Eternal, however, looks like it's going to be continuing that fast-paced, over-the-top, gore-spilling, combo-meter-blowing, run-and-gun kill fest that it's always meant to be. From the heavy metal soundtrack breaking its way through the trailer as we watch the boots of the Doom guy crush the remains of his enemies, to the gameplay releases that showcase some of the new weapons and new multiplayer modes, I can't wait to get my hands on a shotgun and send each and every demon back to hell. Keep an eye on it for late 2019. Number 8. Beyond Good and Evil 2. Alright, so the game isn't actually coming out in 2019, but the beta is, according to the developers. If you never played the underrated original installment, you can find it on the Xbox Marketplace. It's a fantastic blend of RPG elements, arcade puzzle platforming, and solid shooting mechanics with an interesting world filled with colorful characters well worth diving into. The sequel looks to expand that universe tenfold, bringing back some of the classic characters but also introducing an all new cast and a much larger open world. There haven't been many gameplay reveals just yet, but that just adds to the urgency for the beta to release so we can get our hands dirty. Keep your eyes on this one. Number 7, Borderlands 3. When Borderlands 1 released, I was 100% on that hype train. Midget screaming minions, thousands of weapon configurations, massive landscapes, and claptrap. I sunk many an hour into this game before eventually moving on to other great games that released that year, but I'll never forget my experience with it. While the sequels continued the same quality and humor that made the original such a fun universe to explore, I unfortunately never came back to this particular franchise. However, there are some of us at Fat Ninja who are staunch supporters and cannot wait for the newest game to release. They assure me it's going to be the best game ever, and that we should all grab a copy when it releases on September 13th. Number 6. Days Gone. When I first saw the trailers for this, I thought to myself, this will be a fun game to tide me over until The Last of Us 2 releases. After all, it had a similar aesthetic, but then I started watching the gameplay footage. The Freakers, which is what they call their infected enemies, are much like the zombies you see in World War Z and in the 28 Days Later franchise. Fast, moving like a body of water, just consuming everything in sight. Now, if this were any generic zombie shooter, it would just be a hold up here, shoot X amount of bullets till the wave stops spawning, right? But then I noticed the interactivity of the environment itself. Setting up traps, using the freakers as a weapon, and the randomly generated spawning effect, much like the way Left 4 Dead handled its zombies, I became very curious very quickly. 
Top it off with the growing trend of being set in a large open world ripe for the exploring, and I can't wait to hop on my bike and hit the road April 26th. Number 5. Mortal Kombat 11 Mortal Kombat! There are very few titles in the fighting genre synonymous with brutal combos as much as this game is. Not too much is known just yet of all the characters coming to the newest installment outside of a few returning fan favorites such as Noob Saibot and Cabal, and the story will pick up right after the events of Mortal Kombat 10. The new X-Ray hits look much more fluid and the fatalities even more gruesome than the last game. Top it off with reports of the controls being tight and responsive, and I can't wait to bash a few skulls on April 23rd. Number 4. Cyberpunk 2077 I'll be honest with you, I never played the tabletop game myself, but I hear good things. Yet from the trailer alone, and the subsequent 40 plus minute gameplay video is enough to already have me screaming at CD Projekt to take my money. The guys behind the Witcher series are simply out of this world when it comes to detail and making it feel alive, which is very evident if you've ever played Witcher 3. I can't wait to dive into the deep progression system and find all the hidden little secrets this universe has to offer. Sadly, there's no official release date yet, but you can bet your ass that I'm a vigilant of every crumb that gets dropped. Number 3. Death Stranding Where do I start? Seriously. So I'm a huge fan of the Metal Gear franchise and even Zone of the Enders, and I would have been a Silent Hills fan as well, but RIP Konami. However. This doesn't seem to have slowed Kojima in the slightest because he is back to his old tricks with the mind fuckery that is Death Stranding. I tried to piece this game together so far. I have my theories involving black holes, time distortion, birth of the universe, gods, and how it feels as if we are just a small part of a much larger organism. But truth be told, the details are so airtight and Kojima's own penchant for misdirection, we won't truly know what this game entails until it finally releases sometime in 2020. Until then, I'm happy to watch a supercut of all the trailers like some pseudo art film. Number 2. Ghosts of Tsushima One word. Gorgeous. Okay, it's pretty obvious that I love all things ninja and samurai. I crushed the content in Ultimate Ninja Storm games, spent hours stealth killing in games like Tenchu Z, fighting demons in Neo, and much more recently been battling furiously in Sekiro. With that said, after seeing the trailer of Ghost of Tsushima, I fell in love all over again with the Japanese history and culture. From the beautiful rolling hills to the muddy battlefields and burning temples, this game looks stunning. The combat looks deep and rewarding and the story is based on real historical events, and I for one wish it was out right now. Unfortunately, we will have to wait until August 30th to get our hands on it. Number 1. The Last of Us 2 One of the greatest games of the decade, the first entry in this new franchise absolutely broke boundaries with storytelling and character development. Now, six years later, the story continues with a much older Ellie and a few new faces, in a world which seems to have changed in a big way again. Or has it? Not too much has been revealed about the story yet, but the gameplay looks tight and tense as ever, and the world is larger this time around. I wonder if we will see any of the Fireflies again. And who is this new group called the Seraphites? Find out in October when The Last of Us 2 hits shelves. So that was our list of 12 games coming soon that we can't shut up about. Are there any that weren't here that you think we should check out? Leave us a comment and be sure to like, share, and subscribe. This has been Raging Antibody. You can tweet me at StudiosFat and hashtag FatNinjaStudios. Thanks again for watching.